Hello, in this lecture we are going to create an elastic file system. We are going to create an elastic file system with mount targets in the database subnet in each availability zone. Then we will put our application code in that file system so that our web servers can pull that application code from the same location. To create our file system, in the management console, select services, under storage, select EFS. Click create file system. Then click customize. We are going to give it a name. Then we are going to leave all these options as default. But if you don't want to incur any additional charge, you can check the encryption of data address. I'm going to uncheck my, then click next. On that network, let's select our VPC, which is the demo VPC. We have two availability zones in this VPC, us 1 a and us 1 b For subnet where we want to create our mount target, we're going to select the us 1 a subnet, and we want to put it in the private subnet 3 database tier. And for us 1 b we're going to select that drop-down, and we want to put it in the private subnet 4 database tier. Then for security group, we are going to delete the default security group. For us 1 a we want to attach the EFS security group. And for us 1 b we also want to attach the EFS security group. We are going to click next. The file system policy is optional. We are not going to add that. Click next. Review everything and scroll all the way down and click create. Once the file system state is available, click on the file system name. And up here, click on attach. And in here, you'll find the command to mount this file system to your EC2 instance. You can click this X to close it. And this is how you create a file system. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.